Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel The Trading Game, the channel where you get all the stock market related information, news and financial education. Since yesterday, there is one news floating in the market uh, which has been uh, disturbing all the retail investors and uh, many of them are really concerned about uh, this particular uh, uh, rumor what is spreading in the market and uh, many of you friends asked me to do a video on this so i'm just uh, trying to explain uh, what exactly is the decision from uh, sebi pending so uh, sebi is working on something uh, which might uh, affect the brokers if you are here in this channel for the first time uh, please do subscribe the channel and hit that like button so that it gives me some motivation for doing further videos and uh, one more important thing i want to tell here is that uh, we have started of uh, telegram group wherein we can uh, exchange our ideas during the uh, market hours uh, so please uh, you can uh, join the that uh, group uh, to further increase our uh, knowledge about market during working hours so i thought of uh, doing a uh, live discussions when market is going on so that it will be helpful for uh, myself and for all the other groups so that we can increase our knowledge so we'll be looking into the detail of uh, this rumor what exactly it is and how it is going to affect uh, us being individual traders and uh, how it is going to affect the brokers as well we will be looking into advantages and disadvantages of this particular uh, uh, plan or uh, news so we'll be seeing in that in detail first one what exactly is this so SEPI might allow the trading directly on the exchanges. So currently, whatever the trading we do, we will be doing it uh, through the broker's channel. So the we will be we will be putting the order into the uh, broker, and broker in turn will be pushing the order to the exchanges. So in, in and uh, in between, so he'll be broker will be getting uh, whatever that brokerage or commission in between. So now what SEBI uh, is planning to do is uh, it is allowing us to place the orders directly into the exchange so that uh, intermediate uh, broker might not come into picture. So this is definitely a big move if it is going to happen. So there are still planning uh, going on around this and it is not yet confirmed. But if it happens, uh, this is really a very, very big move when we look in re with respect to the brokers. So what exactly does this mean? So when we say that uh, we are directly punching the orders in the exchange itself, what, what exactly does this mean? So that means uh, we will be given the access to the market itself directly through, to, the, through the, uh, to the exchanges. So wherein uh, the process is called as direct market access, which is DMA. And uh, we can punch the orders directly into the exchange. So there is no uh, middleman entry or like a broker. So uh, till now it was uh, only available to the big investors, but now they are SEBI is planning to give it to the retail retail investors also. So now uh, with this, how does this impact broking houses? We'll be looking into how how this impacts. So as you can see here, uh, this is a very big threat to the broking industry, as almost all the transactions what we are doing as a retail traders are done through the broker. So whatever the buying and selling will be doing all will be going through the brokers itself and uh, from through broker it will be reaching the exchange from there uh, the orders will be executed but uh, with this new role uh, direct market access so we will be directly contacting exchange and we'll be putting the orders uh, to, uh, directly into the exchange and the orders will be executed there. So uh, what that means is uh, uh, this will be as good as the brokers are not needed at all for trading so when i when we say that uh, we can directly trade in the uh, directly in the exchange so that means the middleman uh, what we call here as broker is uh, definitely not needed but however they might be totally not gone as the option to connect through broker might continue to so when uh, we say that uh, SEBI is working on this particular plan, so this might totally uh, doesn't uh, uh, totally take out uh, the middleman, which is broker. So, but uh, uh, there might be a possibility that SEBI might come up come up with a secondary option wherein uh, the current option of brokers will also be available. So definitely that is going to happen because you might be knowing that. Uh, when we say these brokers, uh, this is a very big industry and uh, the plan what SEBI is doing as per this, uh, definitely the industry itself is going to collapse if this uh, go, goes to be true 100%. So definitely that is not going to happen because uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people who are working in this broker industry, broking industry and uh, they might get a very big hit. 
so that is the reason why this option may continue also so we'll be uh, looking we'll be waiting for the next uh, exact uh, plan how exactly sabi is coming up with and uh, as i mentioned earlier dma is uh, is currently also available but it is available only for the institutions uh, but however even though the dma is allowed they are allowed through the brokers itself so direct market access is currently available to the institutions but uh, through brokers itself so now with a new plan so this dma will be directly having the access whether it is a retail investor or uh, or a big uh, investor it doesn't matter so we will be having a direct uh, access to the terminal uh, or the exchange with that let's look into some of the uh, big brokers of india the first place uh, is uh, zerodha with respect to the number of uh, accounts uh, which it is having so zerodha is at first place and icici securities is at second then comes uh, again uh, one more discount broker upstocks then uh, angel broking hdfc kotak securities and five paisa and sher khan motilal and uh, at the last access access is on uh, 10th place however uh, only these uh, 10 brokers together makes a uh, 63% of the overall uh, trading accounts uh, in india okay so now uh, with uh, this rule you can just imagine how much big impact it will be on uh, these uh, all brokers now uh, let's let's see how exactly this impact us as, as a, a retail trader we may not get the fully functions uh, initially which are available at our broker site so uh, what that means is whatever the functionality which our uh, brokers are giving now currently whether it is a, a cover order or a bracket order and uh, any other advanced features whatever they are providing might not be available initially because as it will be totally a new feature uh, for uh, uh, for the terminal uh, for the exchanges to start with so initially it will be very difficult uh, that uh, these orders will be available definitely they, they, these might be we will be getting at a later point of time but at the start it will be very difficult to get this and uh, one more disadvantage here is uh, generally if we have any queries or complaints we'll be going to the broker and now if it is done directly uh, by the exchanges then it will be very hard to provide uh, these provisions uh, for the exchange to resolve each and every query complaint so then it will be a very big thing so it will uh, take some time for the exchanges to set up uh, this particular role and uh, definitely there is one uh, very good advantage what we'll be having with this one is that uh, uh, whatever the misuse of the client's money in the account so you you saw some months back or a year back uh, one issue happened with carvi so that might not happen because uh, our money will be with exchanges and uh, definitely there will be a no middleman or the broker here uh, so uh, definitely we can expect that our money will not be misused and it will be in the with the exchange itself even though if we are uh, not using that with that uh, now the big question is uh, what is the possibility of this rumor turning out to be true so as per a uh, financial website and uh, business uh, tv channels uh, the sebi is uh, working on this uh, but we don't have any confirmation as such uh, from sebi at this point of time so now exactly if you look into this uh, there are no confirmed uh, chances of this happening so we will con be considering this as a 50 50 as of now but however whatever the result is it is not going to impact us that much so definitely there is no need for us retail traders to worry much about it so if there is anything such uh, such thing uh, going to happen then it is going to affect the brokers uh, at, in a larger uh, 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 way but uh, it is not going to affect uh, us retail traders so definitely let's not worry about this at uh, this point of time with that uh, let me conclude the video Thank you so much for your time. If you are a new viewer here, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that like button.